this. Let's see if we can do a fine sizing and see where we end up and try and uh, try and optimize this transmission error of 2.17. And if we go to fine sizing, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a module of two. This is our um, nominal ratio. We'll, we'll do a plus or minus 2% on this. Um, I'm going to change this to 14.5 to 25. This is my pressure angle. And I'm going to do this at uh, uh, 0.5 degree increments. I'm going to look at a helix angle reference of 18 to 25. I'll do it at 1 degree increments. My center distance, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that on. I'm going to leave that center distance right there. My pinion shift, uh, I could change the number of, I go into conditions 2, and this is fine. I want to suspend my results which do not require or meet required safety factors. Um, and I'm also going to do balance specific sliding. So I'll go back here. Let's just double check 2 to 3.5. Actually, I'm going to make that 0.25. And then I'm going to run this. And I'm going to see how we end up. Let's calculate that. So my fine sizing is going. Um, So what we do is if we if we make this change, everything adjusts in our uh, in our shafts as well. We would go back down and relook at our our uh, tooth modifications. That actually shouldn't change much. So we have a whole bunch of stuff on here. It's not before. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> so now we have this this fine sizing data here. And I want to see, one of the things I'm interested in is this total contact ratio, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go this, I'm going to double click here in 3.922. Let's see, 3455. My pinion shift is this. Uh, this is my high contact ratio. Um, my overlap transverse and my total. Let's see. This is my face load factor and my dynamic factor. One point this doesn't change much, 1.027. Um, I could pick either one of these actually. And we would have a pretty good this has a little bit bigger root safety and this has a little bit better uh, flank safety. But I want to maximize this uh, ratio I think. So let's go ahead and accept that. It's going to recalculate. Uh, my shaft calculation is going, and it's going to basically populate my my uh, my my program here, my my file, with the new information. And the reason I'm going for a, a very high contact ratio is. Um, well, quite honestly, the higher the contact ratio, typically you'll have a lower transmission error. So I go ahead and close this, and holy cow, look at that. It run my trans my contact analysis right here is 0 0.2311 with my uh, modifications. Okay. Now, I'm going to get rid of these because I'd like to see what it is without any modifications. So if I go back to my contact analysis, I go ahead and run this. Yeah, I know my rollers are smaller than a tip diameter. I have to adjust that in my tolerances, but I'm not interested in that just at the second. Um, what I am interested in is in, in what my contact analysis tells me. Um, based on this, okay, 0.1825. I don't know what's going on here. Form 1, tooth form 2. Let's look at our meshing. There, now it's back. All right, so you can see I fine sized this, and just by fine sizing it, my transmission error dropped considerably from 2.17 to 0.185. Now, what this is telling me is I need to change my, my rollers, so what I would do here is 
you know, maybe make this four and make this four and then run it. That's fine. We know that deviates, but now it's not under undersized. So we have 2.1 root safety, 1.2, 2. Point. Our safety against sliding is pretty good. Our max slant tip is still below three, and we have a fairly balanced design. And we have a point. Um, what did I say? Point one eight transmission error. That's pretty good. I, we can actually do better. And I'll show you how we do better here in a second. What we do is we're going to go ahead and open those two uh, point one eight two five. That's pretty low. Let's go ahead and look at our pinion shaft. We're going to save that for now. I want to go back to my tooth trace modifications and I want to run this. I'm going to size this. Oh, it changed just a hair. Not much. But let's uh, let's go ahead and make that seven minus seven. We'll just make it minus eight. It's pretty close. And then 0.62, which was pretty close to what we had. And we're going to save this. Oops, wrong button. <clears throat> we're going to save this and we're going to go to our uh, gear shaft now. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to run this. Size at 3.9, 0.3. Might as well just say 4 and 0.3. We're going to save this. We're going to go back to our analysis. Let's go look at our modifications. We're going to put in four modifications. For gear one, we're going to put in our, we can do this here, helix angle modification, which is still minus eight. We're going to put in our um, crowning, which was 0.62. Now for gear two, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add our, um, uh, helix modification parallel, which was roughly 4, 3.9. And we're going to add in our, oh, let's modify this to our crowning. And we're going to put that number uh, 0 0.31. Right? Those are our numbers. Go to our contact analysis. Remember, we were at 0 0.18, I think. And we run this again. Yeah, I know the effector roller is fine. Let's see what our transmission error is. <clears throat> Again, this doesn't take very long to calculate. We have a nice idea what this what the transmission error in this mesh is going to be with our shaft deflection. 0 0.1054. And maybe we can do better than that. Let's go to modifications. Let's go ahead and turn on our tip and root relief. We'll calculate that. We'll accept it. We can run it again. We're at 0 0.105. Does it get any better? I don't know that it will. Uh, it might. It might not. You might have to play with that and do some, uh, some modification sizing up here. Uh, the shaft calculation is thinking. It's running. Contact analysis is almost done. And we are going to end up with a transmission error of what do you think? Well, it says to use an arc-like profile. 0.3. So we would have to go in here and, and modify this um, the tip relief we'd have to do like an arc like so let's let's remove this let's remove this let's remove that and we'll size this based on an arc like profile and arc like calculate accept See what that gives us. So the program will give you some ideas what you need to do. Remember we we're at point one. You might find out that tip 
tip and root relief isn't something that we we really want to do. We're at point one. We've 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 gone from two point four to point one just by doing a fine sizing and uh, looking at our tooth trace modifications. So. Uh, you know, it's up to you. You can play with this. Uh, you can also do modification adjustments up here, uh, considering contact analysis. So now we're at 0.15. I would say in this in this case, I probably wouldn't even do the uh, the tip and root relief. I would just go ahead and leave it like this, and I'd have a point point one zero transmission error. Now, what we've done is we've taken it from 2.4 to 0.1. One zero uh, when it's all said and done. So the other thing you can do is you can go ahead and um, run a fine sizing on your tooth modifications uh, with transmission error included, and then you can see just exactly how how well that works. Now it it could take many. Normally, what I would say is do that at the end of the day and let it crunch overnight because it might take a couple hours depending on how many solution steps you have. One zero. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's contact analysis part two. Um, hopefully you're getting something out of this. Again, it, it's uh, the fine sizing is, is a huge tool that we can use on this. So if you have questions, you can go right to Kissoft USA. You can go to kissoft.com. Uh, you can contact uh, anyone at Kissoft through uh, through email there through the web page. There's also a um, a LinkedIn users group. You can go there, get information, ask questions, etc. I'm Ty Warner with Kissoft USA. Uh, hopefully, you got something out of this. I know that uh, it's a very powerful tool. Uh, tune in for more videos on how to use the software. Thanks for watching.